Welcome to Dump on Trump, the program that dumps on Trump, exposing the emperor's nakedness. And speaking of programs that dump on Trump, let's talk about Saturday Night Live. Ever since President Trump was elected, Saturday Night Live has been hitting him hard with some stinging comedy skits. And one of the comedy skits that has really hit pay dirt involved White House Press Secretary Sean Spicer, played by Melissa McCarthy. Now, not only did this skit manage to humiliate the White House Press Secretary, but it also got underneath President Trump's skin. And when it comes to dumping on Trump, that's the name of the game. Cracking through those layers of bronzer to inflate the president's massive ego. Now what it is that really got to him was that Sean Spicer was being played by a woman. He tweeted this out. So it's no secret that Trump doesn't like it when he gets dumped on when people start making fun of him. That's why he chickened out of the White House Correspondents' Dinner. But apparently he really doesn't like it when the person making fun of him is a woman. And Saturday Night Live rolled with that by casting Kate McKinnon as Attorney General Jeff Sessions. So I had a suggestion, and that is that they should cast more women as Trump's cabinet members. And I have a few suggestions on what women they should cast as Trump's cabinet members. Let's get it started. All right, we'll start with the Secretary of Defense, General Mad Dog Mattis, one of the toughest sons of bitches you'll ever meet in your life. So no doubt, he needs to be played by one of the toughest bitches you'll ever meet, Betty White. Next up, we have the Attorney General, Jeff Sessions. Now, I already mentioned that Kate McKinnon played him in a few skits. But let's say you have a skit where you have uh, Jeff Sessions and Kellyanne Conway, who's also played by Kate McKinnon. Can't have her play both characters at the same time. Have to have someone fill in for Jeff Sessions. And that someone will be... ...will be Britney Spears. You know... He's a southerner. She's a southerner. Don't worry about it. It's not like he's going to be around for too much longer anyhow. And now we move on to America's favorite narcoleptic neurosurgeon, Ben Carson, who's the Secretary of Housing and Urban Development. Uh, let's see who'd play him. Who'd play him? How about what's her name? You know, the uh, African American cast member on Saturday Night Live. Uh, who isn't Leslie Jones? And uh, speaking of people's names who I just don't know off the top of my head, uh, how about the director of the EPA? Yeah, you know, what's his name? Uh, you could have him be played by. Oh, who the hell cares? It's the EPA. And just so you don't think that I'm some sort of bleeding heart liberal, we'll uh, take a look at one of the opposition leaders, Chuck Schumer. I think he should be played by Professor McGonagall from Harry Potter. Honestly, buddy, would you put your glasses on right? Now we come to Steve Bannon, who's uh, Trump's, uh, uh, you know, I'm not too sure what he does, but he's a head honcho in the White House. Now, uh, some people have said he should be played by Rosie O'Donnell, given her long-standing feud with Trump. But I hear she's a bit of a pill to work with, so I wouldn't put her on SNL. Uh, instead, I think we should look at Roseanne. She's kind of on the same comedy level as Rosie. Up next, we got the Vice President, Mike Pence. <laughs> <laughs> Well, for such a weird-looking dude, we gotta get a woman who's used to put, playing weird-looking characters. Tilda Swinton. Yeah, she's used to playing odd-looking characters. So I think she'd be perfect for Mike Pence. 
That's it for dumb Trump this time. Still working on that uh, Trump Russia scandal video. That'll be coming out pretty soon. And you still have time to vote in our Attorney General Sessions poll. What should Attorney General Jeff Sessions do after it was found out that he lied before Congress at his confirmation meeting, saying he hadn't met with any Russians when he had? Should he resign or quit? And you can vote in the comment section below.